Previously on The Potentialists. Oh my goodness, when LJ first came to us, I had a different mindset and everything. He was a wreck. Valerie didn't like to talk to people. <laughs> The A Forum is a fabulous program that we have here at Bowl World. Yeah, make it happen. If it can change my life, it can it can change everybody else's life. Ready, set, vlog. Hey, how's everybody doing? Normally you have all these really wonderful, talented people you guys are watching all the time, and then you just see little small snippets of me. But in this particular episode, you're gonna get to see behind the scenes at Big Papa's out. My 40 acres, my dog, my daughters and uh, just a little bit of behind the scenes of what my life is like when I'm not here hanging out with all these wonderful, crazy, zany people. Good morning here at the Broward Convention Center, coming to see Jade at her cheerleading competition. But this is the process here that you have to sit on the side of the road so that I can go park the bike. A little unsafe, but hey, I live on the edge. What can I tell you? Wow, this a little bit crazy. Uh, so we're here. Now I gotta try to find my daughter. Okey-dokey. I think it would be in my best interest to call off her mother and see where they're at. I think I found her. Let's see who we have here. Let's see. Who do we have? Who's this? How are you? Ready for today's competition? Yeah. And my daughter is sitting right here. Why? Because she already went on. What? <laughs> what? You what? missed it. I missed it. Do you but wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you mean to tell me that I actually got up early, which you know I hate getting up early, got, dr well, got dressed, had coffee, brushed my teeth, did my hair, and I missed it? You I missed it. No! We were just talking about the episode. So tell me, what episode did you watch? The one where I think LG was getting shot with the staple gun. What did you think about it? It's hilarious. Oh, what gonna do I think we're gonna create like a special call-in session so that kids can uh, call in and have LJ do stunts and tell LJ what to do yes yes yeah LJ you're in for it now the people have spoken let's give you an aerial shot of what this looks like we're gonna go sit down on the map for the award ah okay cool following them down so that we can check out the award we're gonna get first place what do you think, Jay? First place for you guys today? Yeah. yeah. Last time we got the first one, we got sixth place. Then the second one, we got second place. And today we're going to get first place. Okay, that'll be cool. Here we are at ground level filming all the uh, cheerleaders for their awards. Champions of Rick Senior 3. My daughter won first place. Yes, yeah. Hey, mom, we're all really happy. Yeah. Make it happen. All right, yeah. Today, I need to mow the 40 acres. Let me show you here. Let's show Blanca. Hi. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Yes. That's where she sleeps at night. That way she doesn't run around the house and pee all over the place. And this is my pretty big backyard. <laughs> you would agree. I have my eggs and book and hello. How are you? You know what happened? No. This fell inside the pool. <laughs> I went to pick it up and I fall down and die. Look pretty happy with your hair back like that in the beach, you know? <laughs> pretty cool to uh, be here. This is my house. Back there is the backyard. It's about a quarter acre, which I have to maintain. My backyard alone is a quarter acre, so as a joke, I call it my backyard, it's my 40 acres. That's what I feel like, my 40 acres and a mule that I need to mow the backyard, which is kind of large. I have to mow it. Apart from that, Bert, uh, I texted him, he's been having some real problems with the stomach. In his infinite wisdom, he doesn't want to go to the hospital, so okay. But he wants me to come over and help him do the um, Zen room, but I got my own thing that I need to do right now, so don't want you to come on over, help me do this. And now I'm here at my James Bond style keypad. And here we have the Bond cycle. It is Harley Davidson at its best with its special potentialist bling bling. How do you like them apples? <laughs> and this is my training area. As you can tell, I'm pretty well stocked here with my heavy bag, my over and under bag, but it also doubles as the 
junk area late as of late and the workshop area with all my tools and stuff. Just gotta clean it out so I can keep training so I can try to get this uh, 48 year old physique in uh, better shape and look better, feel better. And now to mow the 40 acres. I need protection. Bringing out the big guns, my mower tractor. You get the idea. All right, so we're in Sergio's backyard and I'm about to ride this thing and cut his grass. I don't know how far I can get or if any accidents will happen, but we'll soon see. Can I crash? Uh, no, I, I would try not to. Gonna so do. you're gonna teach me how to do it one good time so that I could follow you in your steps. Basically. <laughs> you must first see someone else do it, and then it becomes easy for you to do it. So if you want to be a millionaire, would you go to the poorest person you know and ask him how they did it? No. Like he's good at this mower, and he knows how to turn it on, and he's going to show us how to do it. Because he's got a contraption here. You know you're Cuban when you either have a toaster oven in your house or when you make a, con a contraption that'll help you when your leg gets tired. Because of this machine. Are those beige jeans? Yes, they were. <laughs> Holy cow. Who does lawns in beige jeans? Sergio. <laughs> exactly. That thing's about to take off. I'm mowing the lawn in my new little car. Turn around! You're mowing in the wrong direction! Hey! Now that's the proper way to mow your lawn. Hey guys, this is Bert, and I want you guys to know that you can like, comment, subscribe, and make it happen. And guess what? <laughs> I'll see you on the other side.